Mm. I love you, Chad. <gasps> oh my god, I'm coming! Oh my god, I'm Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's awake. Yes. Oh my god. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Who are you? <laughs> Jerry, what kind of funny question is that? She's your wife. My wife. Um. Hold on. Um, you don't recognize me. I don't know you. What? Are you saying he lost his memory? Well, madam, that is the only explanation I can give at the moment. And the accident is responsible for this. It is a side effect from the coma. Excuse me, doctor. What are you saying? Honestly, you need to make me understand because right now I am lost. All right, let me ask you. If he lost his memory, how come he recognized me? Well, that is because he suffered from a partial memory loss. You see, the head court he suffered from the accident is responsible for it. Um, doctor, will he regain his memory with time? Well, he may. You have to understand that it is going to be a long time thing. You see, some patients do. Some don't. What? Wait. Uh, wait. Are you saying... Are you saying he may never recognize me ever again? Sorry, madam. That is the most likely thing. Oh, hey, don't give up. Don't give up. Because it is a 50 50 thing. Oh, God. That's what it is. It's okay. Come in. Where is this? Our house. Is this where we live? Yes. You don't remember? No. Um, don't worry, let me show you to the room so you can rest. Doctor's order. Um, do you know if Richard is coming around? I don't have a phone. I would have called him. Yes, um, he said he would drop by later. Then ask for your phone. Don't worry about it. He's going to get you a new phone. Okay. You lost your phone during the accident. Thank you. Where is the room? This way. Coming. Is 
Is this our room? Yes. Um, would you like anything to drink? No. It's fine. I will just have my bath, get some rest and shave. Okay then, uh, let me just take this inside. <laughs> Hi, Chema. How was the day? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, right? So, how is it? It's good. But he has not left the room since we got back. I think he's avoiding me. He still do not recognize you? No. All right, uh, Jama, listen. Do not bother yourself much about this, okay? He will definitely come around. Hmm? He might just wake up tomorrow and uh, everything is gone. Hmm. Right? I hope so. Don't bother. Hmm? I got the phone for him. Mm, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I go see him now? Of course. Why not? All right. Rich, tell me, what do I say to a wife I don't recognize? Well, I think the first step before every other thing is to stop avoiding her. Jerry, John has gone through a lot. Fine, I know you may not remember who she is, but please, just try and be nice, okay? I'll try. I just wish to wake up tomorrow morning and all this is a dream. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome. Can I ask you something? Sure. Go ahead. Why have I not seen my mother and my brother? I have been in coma and they are nowhere to be found. But... Um, um, dinner is ready. Wonderful. Oh, Jerry, let's go and eat. I'll join you guys shortly. I have to put on something. All right. This food is very delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Jerry, what do you think? About? Your wife's food, of course. Oh, um, yes. The food is really nice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. My mother and my brother, did they travel out of town? No. Why? 
Because they haven't come to see me or called since I got back from the hospital. Oh, no, no, no. They visited you while you were still in the coma. I would have to go and see them tomorrow. Gone with all the memories becoming a mystery to me, and everything is fading into history, no longer reality. Jerry, eh? uh, why not come upstairs to the room and sleep instead of dozing off on the couch? I just want to finish the program on, on the TV. Yeah, I put it off already when I walk in and saw you sleeping. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll put it back on. <sighs> okay, um, please don't stay up late. Remember what the doctor said? I won't. I will join you soon. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. Oh no, it's fine, you can stay. I don't have anything to hide from you. No, no, I, let me just drop this. Uh, I'll wait uh, outside. Just, uh, just hold on. Uh, you know, you always go crazy seeing me on tour. 
I, um, mm. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do this. No, stop. I, I miss you. I'm sorry. Babe. I'm sorry. I have to go. Sorry. I am going to see my mother and my brother. Um, are you sure you want to go over there? Sure. Why not? They're family. Are those our wedding pictures? Yes. Where is this? Ikoyi Registry. No church wedding? No. Why? I have always wanted a church wedding. You changed your mind. I see. I see. You do not remember any of this? I'm afraid not. I have to get going. Yesterday is gone with all the memories becoming a mystery to me. And everything is fading into history. So, Mom, right here, Yes, the profit margin. Hmm. I can categorically tell you that we've made so much profit in two months. Wow. <laughs> this is so much, Mom. Wow, this is nice. Kudos, son. Kudos. Thanks, thanks, Kudos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I am very proud of you and all your achievements. You make me proud. Thank you. Hmm. And this is going to double okay. from what I see. Who is there? Um... Coming. Hmm, this is really nice. Thanks, Mom. Mother. I have missed you so much, Mother. I've missed you, Mother. I've missed you too. Richard, can I see you outside? Now. You've been going to the gym? Yeah, I've been working out. You look bigger than me right now. <laughs> Damn, I miss this place. Yeah. What um, what's that? It's uh, you got you. You want some? Is it cold? Richard, can you tell me what is going on here? What is Jerry doing here? Madam, I don't understand. What are you saying? Are you saying that Jerry, your son, must have a reason to be here? Is this not his father's house? Oh, please don't play dumb with me. We all know that Jerry cut off all ties with this family exactly three years ago. <sighs> well... Jerry was involved in a motor accident. What? Yes. He was in a coma for a while. And um, he suffered memory loss. So he, uh, he can't remember anything? Sort of. Wow. Does the wife know that he's here? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> she must be devastated. <laughs> uh, well, um, Jerry does not remember who Choma is. Hmm. Wow. So sad. <laughs> so sad. I can see why he did not remember that he is here. Wow. <laughs> Mom, I was going through the wedding pictures and I did not see you or Tolu. Why? Well, <laughs> wedding pictures. I know you were engaged to Olivia, but I, I didn't see you get married to her. The whole thing is so confusing. If, if I hadn't seen it myself, I wouldn't have believed it. Tolu, did I get married? You... I don't ever remember attending your wedding. But what I do remember is um, the fact that you were dating Olivia. Yeah, I remember dating Olivia and getting engaged to her, but this whole wedding thing, I, I just can't figure it out. Oh, Jerry, please don't get yourself worked up, okay? I believe everything will fall back to normal soon. <clears throat> Son, I think you should go to your room and rest. Uh, uh, no, ma. Uh, he's not staying. Actually, I am staying. Jerry. <sighs> Did you tell Choma you're going to spend the night here? Eh? Yeah, my friend. You can do that for me. All right? <laughs> yes. yes. Um, Tolo, could you say him to the door, please? Uh, well, there's no need for that. Um, I should be on my way now. Drive safely, Richard. So, Mom. Do you have any food in the kitchen? Because I came hungry. I miss your food. <laughs> I'll be in my room. Mom. Hmm? Like I was saying. Yes, there's a lot of food. There's a lot of food. I miss your time. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, but why are you guys drinking hot? Yesterday is gone with all the memories becoming a mystery to me. And everything is fading into history, fading into history. No longer reality yeah. to me. I'm caught up in between two worlds and it's not funny. I don't know where to go from here, it's not so easy. Living in a world where everything's so different. My vision's getting blurry and it's hard to see clearly now. I'm caught up in between.
Excuse me. <laughs> my bag, my bag. Y yes, I, I saw them take your bag. But we can't get it back right now. I'm stranded. I don't have anywhere to go to. My, all, my, all my money is inside the bag. Now I'm stranded. I, I, I want to help you. Where are you going to? Don't worry. I'll take care of myself. I can't find But my this way. place is risky. I, I can take you wherever you want to go. I'm worried. I, I can't leave you standing here. You lost your bag right now. Do you want to lose your life? It's, it's risky here. Let, let me help you. Okay. This way, please. Let, let me take you wherever you're going. Okay? <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry about your bag, yeah? This is not this guy. What is it still doing here? Hello. Hello. Um. Hi. Hi. Are you are you done? Yes, I'm done. What are you still doing here? Um, I figured I I should drop you back home since you don't have money on you. Oh, you shouldn't have bothered. I can take care of myself. You no, know what? I, I don't mind. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'll just get a cab. Oh, wait, wait. wait. There's a car here. I would, I would drop you. It's, it's not a problem. Eh, uh, but I can't still help myself. I insist. Let me just drop you home, eh? Please. If I drop you, it's, it's thank you for me, eh? Please. <sighs> don't worry, I can just get a cab, no, you know. I, 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 please. I insist. Okay? It's from my heart. Oh. Eh? <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, right. Please have a seat. Right. <laughs> Yesterday, a better version of who I am. If I could turn back the hands of time, I'll be your right. And I'll be there every waking moment of the day. And you won't need to cry a single day. Cause I'll be there. But I'm caught up. Hi, Richard. Yes, I, I was about calling you. Where is he? Um, is Jerry with you? Really? He did? Okay. Thank you. All right, good night, Rich. And I'm looking for the answer. Do you know? No, 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 no. 
feels like there is something bad I cannot understand it anymore. Understand it anymore. anymore. Yeah. Oh, no. Is it my life I'm living? This was a well deserved shower. Well, I agree. <laughs> You smell like strawberry mixed with sweet scents from India. <laughs> Come here, baby. It's gone without a memory, becoming a mystery to me. And never Why would she lie to me? That shows the kind of person she is. Tolu and I had no idea you had an accident. So I was in coma for two months and my family did not know about it. We had no idea whatsoever. Not even your best friend, Richard. Nobody told us. Um, Mom, I'm, I'm going to bed. So early? Yeah, my... Head feels kind of heavy. I think I have a headache. Oh, sorry. Make sure you take something, okay? I will. Good night, son. Good night, mom. Jerry, good night. Good night, little brother. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to do again. I don't know. Um, you know, let me just call you back. There's someone at the door. All right. Hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> Come in. Hi. Um, I'm here to... We have come to Pakistan's. He's leaving this house for good. Mm. Ben. Shall we? Yeah, no. Let's go. <laughs> uh, she had told you that this day will come. And it has come. Hmm? Now you, you, you see how I felt when you took my son from me. I did not take your son away from you, mother. Mm. We fell in love. Ah, please shut up your mouth. Shut up. Shut up that your dirty mouth. You fell in love. Kilo Moti, love Jay. Look, let me tell you. Don't you ever, do you hear me? Don't you ever in your life call me your mother. Wait, oh, do I look like your mother? Shame or joy, Yareni. Do I look like your mother? Hey, what's your name? She means soften. What's your name? What day? It is the best thing to do because nothing seems right. You and everything in this house, I just have to go. Please, Jerry, don't leave me. Why? So you could continue lying to me? No, oh, I never lied to you. Then tell me. Why did you tell me my mother and my brother came to see me when they don't even know about the accident? I did that to protect you. From what? From who? My family? Can't you see how ridiculous that sounds? I know it doesn't sound right, but... Listen, I have to go. It's obvious I don't trust you. You've been lying to me, and I don't know what other lies you fed me with. Please, Jerry, listen to me. Listen to me. My family house is the best option for me, and there's nothing you're going to say that's going to change my mind. 
Jamie. Jamie, please, you need to listen to me. Please don't go. You've said all I, I want to hear. Please, you need to believe me. Tell me if you need anything, okay? No problem. All right. What's up, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Mom? Yes. What is going on? Like what? Is... Is he going to be staying here? Kind of a stupid question. How is it a stupid question, Mom? How can you even let that happen? After everything he's done to this family? He's my son. Your brother. Well, he is not my brother. He sees me, my brother, the very day he chose that girl over this family. Bring down your voice. Do you want him to hear you? I don't care. He can hear me if he wants. Fine. Shout if you want to. Scream if you want to. But I want you to know one thing. I am the owner of this house. This is my house. And I choose who lives and who stays. Right. Nonsense. Oh, wow. You can't even hide it. Hide what? The fact that Jerry is your favorite son, Mom. Point of correction. I love the two of you equally. Lie. Lie. That's the lie you keep telling yourself. But we both know the truth. Stuff. You're going out? Yes, I am. I'm actually going um, today is um, the company's holders meeting I told you about. Have oh, you forgotten? Oh, shoot me. <laughs> I totally forgot. I was, I was meant to go with you to that meeting. Mm. Um, you know what? Just give me five minutes. I'll um, change into something else and we'll go. Um, actually, Jerry would be going with me. You know, he has not been in for a while now. He has not been here for a while. Yeah. What has that got to do with anything? He chose not to be here. Tolu. I'm not Tolu me. Don't talk like that. He's your brother. Please. Please, son. So. The prodigal son is finally back and I'm relegated to the background. Is that what this is? Just wow. How convenient. Please. Please don't talk like that. Tolu. You show Moisha. Mother, I just bumped into Tolu and he seemed really upset. Is, is everything okay? Never mind. It's okay. Are you set? Yes, I am ready if you're ready. Yes, I am. Right, let's, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. After you. All right. <laughs>
Good morning, son. Good morning, little brother. Where are you off to this morning? Tolu likes to go to work early before the other employers. I guess it's setting a good example for the office. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, someone has got to take responsibility around here, yeah? Kudos to you, little brother. Why don't you join us for breakfast? I can't. I would, um, I'll grab something on my way to work. Why do you have to eat out when we have food in the house? Mom, can you just let me be? I said I don't want breakfast. Are you going to shove it down my throat? <sighs> Little brother, why are you talking to mother like that? I wasn't talking to you. Stay out of this. Tolu, I don't like this. And while you stay out of this, do me a favor. Can you stop with the little brother thing because it pisses me? We're no longer kids. I'll be in the office. Leo. <sighs> Mom, since when did Tony become like this? I don't know. He scares me sometimes. He, he does scare me. Excuse me. She's the one, isn't it? Yes, I don't know why she keeps calling me. I told her to stop calling me. You have to be very careful about her. I am careful about her. You know me. Can you just pick up already now? Pick my call. Thank you. Let's <laughs> end I'm not hungry anymore. No, ma, you can. What do you mean you're not hungry? You I, have to eat. I don't want to eat anything. Is it because of Tulu? It's gone with all the memories Becoming a mystery To me And everything Is fading into history No longer reality yeah. I'm caught up in between two worlds and it's not funny I don't know where to go from here, it's not so easy Living in a world where everything's so different My vision's getting blurry and it's hard to see clearly now I'm caught up in between two worlds and it's not funny I don't know where to go from here, it's not so easy Hello Richard Living in a world where everything's so different Yes, yes I'm alright I'm okay, I'm just having a fever, but I'm getting better. Yes, I am. Many, many questions and I'm looking for an answer, do you know? Sure, yes. Feels like there is something better. Alright then, bye. Okay. Bye. Ah. Of who I am. If I could turn back the hands of time, I'll be uh, in your eyes. So Jerry is going to be a father, and he does not know about it. Yes. I was going to tell him on the day he had the accident. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know, Richard. Jerry doesn't even remember who I am to him. How am I supposed to show up and tell him that I am pregnant for him? I think you're right. Because this is certainly not the right time to let him know about this. Honestly. This is such a terrible nightmare. 
he doesn't even pick my calls. I am confused and all alone. No, no, Choma, please don't say that. You are not alone. Jerry, your husband, is my best friend. I will do everything within my power to make sure that you are fine. I promise you that, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you've been doing for me. It's all right. You're such a friend indeed. You're welcome. It's okay. Well, as it stands now, uh, we're in the same boat. Because he doesn't pick my calls either. I guess he has also blacklisted me. You needed to have seen the way his mother treated me the other day. His mother? He was here? Yes. She accompanied Jerry to come pack his things. <sighs> that woman is so wicked. Very wicked. Choma, listen, I don't want you to think too much about this, okay? Please, I am begging you in the name of God. Everything is going to be fine, okay? Please, remember you're pregnant. You don't need stress, stress of any kind, okay? okay. It is well. Hmm? Please. Stop crying, lest you put yourself into more trouble. Okay? Okay. Everything will be fine. Okay. 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 Hey, Mom. Uh, you sent for me. It's about Jerry. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? He seems to be the only thing we talk about in this house nowadays. <sighs> Don't start, Tolu. Don't you start. Are you not the one that is distancing yourself from me? Hmm? Of course, it's, it's my fault. It's all my fault. Anyway, what is this about? Well, since the, the, the doctor has given him the go-ahead to work, mm. I want him to come back to the company. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Boom, you're joking, right? Oh, God. You are just impossible. Wait. Hmm. You're going to let him come back to the company after... All that happened in the past. All that happens in the past remains in the past. This is the present we're talking about now. Mm. That's fine. Just let me know when you want me to send in my resignation. Mm. Who is talking about resigning here? Tolu? Tolu, come back here. We're not done talking. No, there's nothing to talk about. Tolu, come back here. Tolu! Hey! Ramo, you sumi yo. O sumi yo luwa.
Tolu? Where are you going to with your bag packed? I don't know. I'll decide when I get to the airport. I, I don't understand you. Your bag is packed and you don't know where you're going to? Like I said, Mom, I do not know. When I get to the airport, I will decide. Why are you acting like you're bothered anyway? After all, your favorite son is here with you. Don't you ever tell me about my favorites. Mom, what's going on? Tolu? Are you going on the trip? Yes. Where to? I don't know. Tolu! Tolu, come back here! Mom, it's okay. <laughs> Tolu is a big boy. He can't take care of himself. But what happened? Hi. <laughs> Promise I will. I will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Believe me. I trust my heart. Olivia, hi. Um, hold on. Jerry, what do you want? Well, um, I saw you pass and I wanted to say hello. Next time, don't. Olivia. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I promise I'll make it up to you. I cross my heart. I will. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. I'll, I'll call you back. Back. Olivia, listen, I know things were a little complicated between us in the past, but I think you're being a little too harsh on me. A little complicated, you say? You broke off our engagement. Do you know how heartbroken I was? I am sorry. Truly, I am. Can we, can we go somewhere and, and talk? <laughs> There is absolutely nothing for us to talk about. Excuse me. Olivia. Olivia. Hey, Mom. Hi. How are you? Okay. <sighs> Tired. Guess what? What? I saw Olivia today. Oh, really? Yes, and she wasn't pleased to see me at all. Oh. I wouldn't blame her. She said I broke off our engagement and disappeared. But I don't remember doing that. Did you try talking to her? She wouldn't even let me. Well, if you want me to invite her to the house, I could. You think she would come? Of course she will. She listens to me. Oh, that would be nice because I tried to talk to her today and she wouldn't barge with me. She will. Okay? Oh. I will talk to her. Okay. Um, uh, thank you. That's my son. <laughs> um, okay. I'm hungry. Uh, you know, I'm always hungry. Yeah, there's food. All right, there's food. <laughs> ah.
How was work today? <sighs> it was hectic. We had the um, school debate today. Hmm. I hope your students did very well. Yes, and I was really proud of their performance, even though we did not win. They are lucky to have a teacher like you. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, <clears throat> how is the writing going? Well, not very well. The words are not coming. Hmm. Don't worry. The words will come. They always do. Why do you believe in me so much? Because even though you don't see it, you are special and unique. And guess what? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> and oh, I have something for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm, another love letter. Yes. <laughs> I told you I will write one for you every time. Mm. You are my muse, you know? I know. Are you not going to open it to see what it says? Uh, maybe later. But right now, I want you to show me what it says. Olivia, mother, <laughs> so you're in the country and you didn't bother to come and visit me? That's not true, mother. I, I just got back from London two weeks ago. I thought as much. So you went to see your parents? Yes. <laughs> How are they? They're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice. Hmm. Olivia, I know you're still angry with Jerry, but I am begging you. Hear him out, okay? Please hear him out. Give him a second chance. Please. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not fine. <laughs> Jerry. Hey. 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 Um, I am really sorry for the way I treated you in the past. The funny thing is, I don't remember breaking up with you. You don't remember breaking up with me? How is that even possible? Well, I had an accident and I was in coma for two months. I woke up a married man. Wait. You mean you don't remember anything that happened? Nothing. Memory loss. Oh. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, that's okay. So, uh, tell me, are you in a relationship? Um, I just got out of one not too long, so taking my time. That's good. Taking your time is very good because relationships can be messy at times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, should I get you something to drink? Not yet. Um, we, we have some catching ups to do. <laughs> yeah, we sure do. You look good. <laughs> well, you're not looking bad yourself. 
Mm, I'm trying to be like you when I grow up. Oh. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Does this song remind you of anything? Of course, yes. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I miss you. I miss you too. Ola to be a mapari wo ye, owo to be a mapari wo ye, ota to be a mapari wo ye, mapari wo ye, be a mapari wo ye. Self comfortable. Okay. Hey, bro, how you Ooh. doing? Yeah. Ah, good, bro. I'll be right back, babe. All right. All right. Hi, Tom. Good to see you. Hi, Olivia. Good to see you too. Um, I heard you traveled. So, how was your trip? It was good. I um. I got back this afternoon. Hmm. Nice. So, uh, you and my brother back together? Mm, yeah, something like that. Olivia. Um, just be careful. <laughs> I don't just want you getting hurt again no don't just bother yourself about me i can take care of myself mm. what's up babe i see i'll just leave you two to read them Are you okay <sighs> hmm? are you smiling like that <laughs> oh I, I forgot are you smiling like that huh? oh sorry uh do you care for anything um yeah anything so Honestly, you've been difficult to get a hold of you lately. I know, and I apologize for that. I have just been busy. Busy? Wow. You're writing again? That's wonderful. <laughs> writing? <laughs> Why uh -huh. would you say that? I'm working in my father's company. Oh. 
Okay. I'm not a writer, Richard. Why would you say writing? Yeah, well, actually, you were one before the accident. A very good one at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Writing. Yeah. So, excuse me. Are you not going to take that call? Nah, never mind. It's Choma. I don't know why she's calling me. Well, answer her call. And tell her what? I don't know who she is, Richard. And besides, I'm already seeing someone. You are? Mm hmm. Guess who? Guess! Olivia and I are back together. Yeah. Why? Easy, 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 easy. Sorry for making you leave work in the middle of the day. I had no one else to call. Yoma, why are you saying this? Huh? You can call me anytime. Please, take a seat. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Yoma. You were thinking too much. And that was the reason you fainted. Listen. I don't want you to faint again. Oh. Please. I can't believe I fainted in class. My students were so scared. I can't blame them. Because I was also scared when I got the call. I promise not to scare you again. Better. Oh. You're my better. <laughs> um, Chi, yeah. you really need to take care of this unborn baby. Hmm? The child needs you too. Please. I know. But Jerry is still not taking my calls. Well, um, I know. Because, um, because I... I was with him last night. Hey. Did you guys talk about me? What did he say? Richard, what is it? Uh, talk well, now. I don't think Jerry is coming back. Huh? He has gone back to his ex. Yesterday and everything I'm coming. Hold on, I'm coming. Ah, mommy, good afternoon, ma. Please come in. You're welcome, ma. You can sit down. No, no, that's not necessary. I've come to deliver a message for you from my son. Ah, what message, ma? My son wants a divorce. And the earlier you do that, the better for all of us. Here. Did Jerry sign this? Of course he did. He has moved on with his life. And I I suggest you move on with your own. Nonsense. Oh, Jerry. I 
It's not so easy Living in a world where everything's so different My vision's getting blurry and it's hard to see clearly now Oh, oh, yeah Is it my life I'm living or is it somebody else's? I don't know Many, many questions and I'm looking for the answer Do you know? No, 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 no Feels like there is something but I cannot understand it anymore Understand it anymore Anymore yeah. Oh, 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 no Is it my life I'm living or is it somebody, somebody else's? Is I don't know I don't know, no, no Many, many questions and I'm looking for the answer Do, Do you know? know? No, I don't no, know, no, no, no Feels like there is something bad I cannot understand it anymore Anymore, no. anymore. yeah Yesterday is gone without a memory Becoming a mystery to me And everything is fading into history No longer reality to me Hi, Chuck. I brought the remaining of your stuff. Oh, she didn't have to, but thanks all the same. Mm. I also got the divorce papers from your mother. About that, I wanted to come by myself, but... Is I... that really what you want? A divorce? Choma, many weeks have passed and I can't seem to remember you or our life together. So I think it's best we move on. Okay then, I I wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. Goodbye, Jerry. Goodbye, Shoma. Are you going to come in or not? You have just five minutes. My brother is going to propose to you again. I want you to say no this time. What? You heard me. You want me to turn down a beautiful marriage proposal? Why should I? You know why. Look, Tolu, whatever we had was in the past. I am not ready to go back there.
screen. So, is there anything else you want us to talk about? I guess no. See you around. You still love me, don't you? You still want me. going to congratulate us about we are getting married oh I um, I didn't realize that I was a bit distracted congrats brother <sighs> mom oh God. what is wrong with you to mind him he's always like that sometimes Come on, sit close to me. Come, my joke was stuck. Come, come, sit down here. Ah. Ah. So you find me. Before you guys complete or anything, mm -hmm. it's going to be a very simple wedding. Very classy. Mm -hmm. Not too much people. It has to be bougie, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So you spend the night with him? Yeah. We went out to celebrate last night and we came in late. Liar. Don't you ever call me that again. You had your chance, Tolu. Who are you even thinking? That I will still wait forever? You better think again. Don't you dare walk out on me. Do you think you're my brother? You think I'm telling you? I'm pissed. So you let her hands go! This is between Olivia and I. Stay out of it! You are holding my father's <laughs> hand and you're telling me between you and her. Stay out of it! Your fiancé, my foot. Maybe you should ask her where she was three days ago. Olivia will never do that. Now let her go! I will get out! I will get out! How dare you! What are you doing? You always choose a woman over me! Please sit down. Thank you. Um, um, mother, this is Chioma. Chioma, this is my mother. It's nice to finally meet you, ma. I have heard a lot about you from Jerry. I see. You're Chioma. Hmm. That means you're evil. Yes, ma. What do you do for a living? I'm a teacher, ma. How do you cope with your little salary? Mother, will you stop? <laughs> Young lady, I'm sorry my son will not marry you. My son has a more classy and a beautiful girl that he will marry. Mother, what are you talking about? You heard me. What are you saying? I have told you I don't love Olivia and I can't marry her. I already broke up the engagement, so I don't know what you're saying. 
She said what? Yes, you heard me. Shoma is the girl I want to marry and that is final. If you love Olivia so much that I guess you should marry her. Shoma. Mama. Stop there. I don't want to see that girl anywhere around you or near my house ever again. Do I make myself clear? Do you want to bring shame to this family? I ask you. Show Feko Juti Wani. How is marrying somebody I love going to bring shame to this family, mother? She has no class. She is nothing compared to Olivia. <laughs> Mother, you have been doing this for so long and I am sick and tired of it. Excuse me? You have practically dictated my whole life. What I eat, what to wear, what to study in school, everything. I am an adult now and I can make my own decisions. You will not marry that girl. Oh, I am going to marry that girl, mother, because she's the love of my life. The earlier you accept it, the better for both of us. Cherry, don't disobey me. Don't! Because you leave me with no choice but to cut down all the ties you have with this family. That means you are no longer a member of this home. Oh, I will. Just watch me. Mwalai bon. What is it? Have you changed your mind? Of course not. But are you sure we getting married is going to change your mother's mind? I don't care about that. All I want is to be married to you. Well, I care. I don't want to be the one tearing your family apart. I was orphaned at a young age, so I know the importance of family. Don't worry about it. I have everything under control. Once we are married, my mother would have no choice than to accept you as a daughter-in-law. I hope so. I love you so much, Jerry. But I don't want to come between you and your family. I don't want to take you away from your family. You won't. You won't. And I love you too. Are you in general for me? So, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> bro. Hey, bro. How you doing? Good, good. Hello, mother. What is she doing here? I thought I told mother, you. I... Please come down. We have something to tell you. I don't want... No, no. Please, can we just hear him out first? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why is she wearing that ring? That is what we wanted to tell you, Mother. Shoma and I got married. What? 
What did you just do? We, we got married, mother. Ha! Huh. This is unbelievable. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't believe this. M mother, please. Don't you shut up your mouth, you gold digger. Shut up! So you lured my son into marriage. Just look at you. Come on, teacher. Mother, she did not lure me into marrying her. I married Chama because I love her. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> well, you've made your decision. You are no longer my son. Leave my house, the two of you. Get out. Get, get off. Now, I will not commit any crime. I, I just got married. I said get out of my house. Get out of my house. As from today, you will no longer have access to the family's account and your inheritance. You will also give up the CEO position of this family company. Mom, Do I make myself it, clear? Isn't it a bit too much? I don't think so. You know what, mother? You can keep that position. I hated that job anyway. I only came here to tell you because I thought my mother would be happy with me and bless my marriage. But I thought wrong. Get out of my house! Get out! Oh, Marada, Rada! Oh, Loshiyama! Oh, Loshiyama! Oh, Loshiyama! Oh, He was not even of any good to this company in the first place. Sorry, Paul. Oh, Loshiyama, you. Olori buruku lo mo yo. Ah, egbe re. Ah, mo gbe. Mo gbe Oh my god. Just calm down. Calm down. Doctor, please. How is he? He's going to be fine, madam. He had a serious cut on his head and we have stitched him up. He regains consciousness. Mew. Not yet, my dear. It's a gradual process. Okay? Please, please, doctor, can, can we see him now? Not at the moment, madam. Oh, please. God. Please, oh, excuse God. me. Oh, God. Tolu. 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 Oh, my God. Ah. I'm in labor. No, 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 no. I can't wait. I already ordered for a ride. Yes. Please just come to the hospital, please. Yes. Thank you. Chioma had a son for you some months back. She had a son? 
when she was pregnant for me? Yes. She was going to tell you on that very day you had the accident. How? So she went through all of that by herself? No. Oh. Don't worry, Jerry. Um, it wasn't your fault. Yes. But um, I tried to be there for her half of the time. Thank you. It is well. You are a friend in this. My dad. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is well. How I wish I was strong enough to go and see her. How am I even going to face her? Uh, no, 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 Jerry. Please. Don't bother yourself about this for now, okay? You concentrate or you're getting better. I believe everything will be fine. Upset with me right now. I don't want to talk to you. Please go. <laughs> you can stay. Oh, my son. Oh, my God. I thought I had lost you. But I hope Olivia has left the house because I don't want to see that girl ever again. Oh, she has gone. She has gone. I never knew she was so shameless. Such a shameless girl. I am so disappointed in Tolu. Don't be. Mother, if the both of them want to get married, don't stop them. Oh, no, my dear. I will never, never. I will never accept that girl in my house. Oh, don't say that. It's okay. So how are you? I'm fine. Oh, baby. Look at you. I'm fine. Mother, I'm fine. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Jerry, what's up? No, I'm fine. In the hospital, I brought uh, Chioma and the baby for immunization. You wanna come? Uh, hurry up then. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Jerry, my guy. Kiss me, baby. Oh. Hey, <laughs> How did it go? It went well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. What are you looking for here? Uh, Choma, please. Just calm down, okay? Please. I know what you're going to say, Choma, and I deserve it. I am truly sorry. Can you recognize me? Yes. Do you know who I am to you? Yes. How did you regain your memory? I had a fight with Tolu and I hit my head. I was in coma for months. When I regained my consciousness, I got my memory back. Wow. Then I have Tolu to thank for that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that our son? Yes. Richard. And everything. Richard? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 